Hey there, how are you doing? We welcome you all to the hands-on video of the Build 14371. Microsoft has pushed uh, Windows 10 Mobile Redstone Build 14371 to Insiders in Fastring. In this video, we will uh, first talk about the unreported changes which are not available in the official change log, but we were able to explore and find them. So we have already reported these unreported changes and you can go to NetView and read them. Here we will uh, do a hands-on demo of those changes. Apart from them, we will also uh, take you through the uh, hands-on where we will evaluate the multitasking, the performance. We will see how the entire experience works like, how is the battery life, etc. We will also share our installation experience with you and we will also obviously talk about any bugs that we have faced. So <clears throat> let's begin with the unreported changes. Now when you launch Cortana, you will be directly taken to home screen. So this has changed at least twice. So in the last build, it again became like there was an arrow uh, which on tapping on which you uh, will go to the home screen. So uh, before that, it was directly uh, going to home screen. So it has again changed. So now uh, you will be directly taken to the home screen. So this is one change. Another change is that the help is from help goes away from here. So there was one more like icon help icon here, uh, the like Kotana hamburger menu, which is gone. If you go to settings, you can see the changes there in how it all appears, how the options appear here on the Kotana hamburger menu. So this has also changed. If you have a new device like Lumia 550, you can also see another change. So you see this suggested, so I mean, it supposed to be automatic but on these devices it has become suggested so if you tap and hold on the action button you come here so we we last uh, in our last will also be uh, demoed that there is now a uh, box which surrounds this action which is there in the action button so this box is surrounding it and it goes like suggested so this is something i mean a minor change but yes it is something you would not see on new devices so sorry on old devices it's only available on the new devices like lumen 550 where there you have a slider as well apart from this there is one very very interesting change so we kept that for last so if you go to the privacy <clears throat> you see this is continue app experiences so something which uh, we have i mean kind of reported by our sources that it's a handoff kind of feature which is present on iOS or it's kind of app roaming. So you, if you are working uh, with an app on Windows 10 mobile device or a Windows 10 device, you should be continuing that experience to other devices. So let's say if you're working on a phone with certain app, maybe like Word or Excel or something, if you stop at somewhere, at some juncture, and you can start at the same point on your Windows 10 PC. So something of that sort. But it is not it working. If you go to there, then you cannot actually, uh, I mean, there is only one setting to switch it on or off. What it does is not clear yet because we tried and we are not able to see it even like uh, our Windows 10 PC is running 14371 build, but it's not, uh, I mean, there is no clarity about it basically how to uh, use it. So uh, maybe like Microsoft uh, kind of in next one or two build, uh, activates this feature and then maybe we will be able to demo it to you so for now but this is, looks very interesting very good actually so these were the unreported changes that were not available in the uh, official change log so uh, i mean now let's go to the next part or second part which is the performance or multitasking etc evaluation of the build basically so i have a lumia 550 in my hand and the build behaves quite uh, well actually fast and responsive in the store app which has faced many issues uh, in last build the build 14367 is faster than ever it, it launches very fast actually and i mean it's a kind of pleasant surprise if you go to i mean the experience of action center etc all works, uh, I mean, smoothly, flawlessly. 
let's do some uh, settings navigation Let's send it to the background. We'll open more apps. Let's open the Cortana. Let's open the Microsoft Edge browser. Microsoft recently uh, claimed that Microsoft Edge browser is, uh, I mean, much better in uh, power saving than any other browser, any other known or popular browser like Chrome, like Opera, etc. So with that, uh, while we cannot uh, vouch for that claim because we have not tested, but it seems uh, that uh, this Microsoft Edge browser keeps getting better. So even with this build, you will see that it, it feels a bit faster than what we have uh, seen in the last build. So it's quite good actually. Let's quickly check. Uh, I mean, we'll just see, see the how the video plays uh, by going to YouTube. Let's check how this uh, like gaming looks like. Though gaming works fine, uh, what we can say, but uh, let's just quickly check it on a Lumia 550. Let's send it to background. Time to see how the multitasking works. So 
so we will uh, open few of the apps first and the resume is really impressive again it uh, remains as good as it will be so you can see the app resumes works very very well i mean it's almost instant resume kind of thing now let's check for the game and it seems that it still has not been sorted out because um, games don't resume really fast so while it resumed it took some time so if you go to a, a better device so it's a like mid ranger or a high end device like lumia 950 it will be better it will resume faster but there is a kind of noticeable lag when uh, you try to resume games so obviously as we said uh, it must was microsoft must try to sort it out apart from that if you come to uh, the battery life part so battery life for us has been i mean quite good actually if you So, like uh, as you can see here, um, with a ninety-seven percent charge, it says one day five hours. So, I mean, it's a daily uh, use device or daily driver device. So, almost uh, it's like uh, it, it's giving us a battery life of twenty-four to twenty-six hours. Even with this build, uh, we cannot just say because it has been like hardly twenty-four hours since we have run the build. So, uh, we can say that like it it lasts twenty-four to twenty-six hours, but the battery saver shows more. so in a way uh, the build has good battery life slightly improved over the last build maybe the wifi and uh, mobile data these are like working fine i mean till now in our uh, i mean time 24 hours time with this build we have not seen them getting disconnected they are working fine so this is something which is like uh, which was giving issue to many and it, the improvement is obviously there which is a good thing so uh, coming to installation experience we have seen the build uh, i mean getting very i mean installed very very smoothly so for us it took around 35 to 40 minutes for the build to get installed and the restart and the data migration so quite good so this was uh, the experience of lumia 550 xl if you talk about uh, lumia 640 xl it is even slightly better so while it was quite smooth on there so you will check here you will also find that everything works fine even if you compare slightly better than uh, what you see on lumia 550 which is expected because it's a kind of higher i mean mid ranger with a better processor than uh, lumia 550 so most of the things work very very smoothly the response is uh, very good so as you can see the only issue i still see is a uh, a slight uh, you know i mean bit of lag when the games resume even on lumia 640 xl so if i have a lumia 950 950 xl i could have shown it to you that uh, i mean it's better on that but still there is a noticeable lag so with that we come to end of this video hope you have liked the uh, demo the evaluation of the build so we we kind of did everything that like gaming bit of video watching then multitasking we also shared our installation experience battery life seems good on this build i mean there are no um, like major issues uh, i did not encounter many crashes or freezes or etc so we will say that it's again i mean even like it's one of the best uh, redstone builds very very close to become like a daily driver 
you can use it if you want as a daily driver i'm using it on like two three devices and it, it just the experience has been good actually for me so uh with that we'll say thanks for watching stay tuned for more yeah